you mean, Carla? Yeah. Sales or sales? Speaking of sales, I may have invited my boss, Mr. Strasser, and his wife over for dinner tonight. Huh. Uh, I'm up for a big promotion at work, and we need to make a good impression. They're going to be here in about ten minutes, so it looks like you got that oven fixed in the nick of time. Son of a zip! That's not enough time! Oh my god, I gotta get myself ready here! Okay, okay. <laughs> Look good. All right, let me get this casserole in the oven, Tone. Ooh, is that soft red bean casserole? You know it, Tone. That's my favorite. Oh, 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 oh. You're the woman of my dreams, well. Carla. By the way, what's for dessert? Buzz around the water coolers that Mrs. Strasser's favorite is chocolate cake. Well, Tone, uh, you know, ten minutes is not enough time to bake a whole cake. Yeah. There's only one thing we can do. What? What? We're gonna have to get a bakery cake and pretend that it's homemade. That sounds risky, Carla. But what else can we do? Mm. Vic! Vic! I need you to get out down the Crandall Bakery and get me their largest chocolate cake. No. No. Do it now. Oh. Vic is gonna make me flip my leg. Vic, stop your lollygagging and listen to your mother. We need that cake right now. He's just sitting there. What's that kid doing? <laughs> oh boy, Carla, they love that soft wet bean casserole. Great job! Well, you know, Tom, what they loved was my martinis. As a cook, I like to say, the secret ingredient that makes everyone love my cooking is my martini. <laughs> That's true, Carla. But where's Vic with that chocolate cake? What's that kid doing? I don't know, Tone. You know what? I'm going to give Crandall's Bakery a call and see how long ago that kid left with the cake. You go give Mr. and Mrs. Strasser another martini. Maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Carla. I'm on it. You're grounded for never showing up with that cake. Go to your room. Oh, well, that's great, Mr. Strasser. Thank you so very much. I'll see you on Monday morning. Well, Carla, we did it. I got the promotion. <gasps> Even without the cake? <laughs> well, it seems that those martinis did the trick because Mrs. Strasser said it was the best chocolate cake she ever had. Hot dog! <laughs> Let's go relax and watch some television, my dear. Soft wet beans, awesome taste for your family. Chew up, up. We've got a lot of That Hastings girl from next door is over there again. She's always hovering around him when he's working on his van. What are those kids doing? Tom, you know what they're doing. You were a teenager once. What do you care? It's not like they're going steady. You know, Vic falls in love every week with somebody new. It's nothing serious. Last week, he was in love with Sherry Sanchez. The week before that, Little Dawn Stanhope. The week before that, Lynn Stewart. Yep, yep. And before that, both Brigantino sisters in the same week. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know. But there's something rebellious about this girl. She's always going on about peace and love. Tom, what's so funny about... Peace 
peace, love, and understanding. Yeah, I don't know. Vic is going on and on about some festival in upstate New York they're going to go to. I forgot what it's called. Snoopy, Woodstock, something. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Plus, Carla, how good could this festival be? A bunch of musicians from upstate New York? Really? I don't know, Tom. You know, I heard this song on the radio the other day. They said this girl's playing at Woodstock. It was something about roller skates. I think her name was uh, Melanie. It was pretty good. Plus, you know, Tone, I really like that name, Melanie. If I had a daughter, I think I might name her Melanie. Oh. Get her, yeah. get her. Oh, Shoo. can they see us? Can they hear it, Tone? I don't know. Let me look. Hold on. Oh, they're kissing, Tone. Yeah. Look how cute they are, Tone. Our little Vic's in love. My yeah. baby. Look, I know she ain't good enough for my Vic. Because let's face it, who is? Right. But look how cute they are, Tone. Yeah. I guess we should let them be. Yeah. You know, let's go cuddle on the couch and watch some television. Yeah. Is there any of that software being cast in there? <laughs>
Usually I fix all this stuff myself, but I can't figure out this newfangled sink and it's making me feel like less of a woman. Shh, shh. No, we gotta keep it hush, hush. I don't want my husband Tony to know. Eight o'clock tonight? That is perfect. Tony has his bowling league. He won't be here, so it'll just be you and me. Okay, now, don't be afraid to get dirty and come in through the back door. Okay, go. Bye-bye. Carlo, who was that you were talking to on the phone there? Look at you, Tony. You look so handsome. Never mind now. Out bowling. Who was that you were talking to, Carlo? That was just my uh, girlfriend, uh, Carrie uh, Bodwell. Oh, Yeah, okay. she's coming over here tonight, okay. you know, after I fix the sink, which I'm going to do all by myself. Okay, and then okay, she's okay. coming over here. And you know what they say, Tom? They say girls just want to have fun. So we're going to watch a little Dynasty. Dynasty, Dynasty. Yeah. Oh, okay, Carla. Yeah. Well, you enjoy that. Don't wait up. Uh, after we go bowling, me and the boys going to hit up a new place called the Olive Garden. It sounds wonderful. That sounds great, Tom. Have a good time. Right. Don't feel like you have to hurry back. Okay, Take thank you, Carla. Time. Have a good night. Okay. Okay, Carl, I'm leaving. Have fun, Tom! <laughs> Tommy, thank you so much for coming over here and fixing this and for fitting me in at the last minute. You don't know what this means to me. I usually can fix this stuff myself and it's killing me not to get under there with you. Oh, but you are... So good, Tommy. And I've never seen equipment that was that big that could fit so perfectly into such a tight space. Now, do you think you can reach, you know, that spot way in the back? Yeah, you gotta get up and arch your back and reach way up there. Now you gotta twist it. You gotta twist it, Tommy. Harder. There you go. Aha! Uh -huh. I caught you red-handed! What? what? Tone! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? What's this guy doing? And what are you doing with him? What? This guy? This guy is Tommy! From Frizzell's Plumbing! Tony's here to fix the sink! Plumbing? I'm so ashamed, Tone! Oh. I know I'm your girl who can always fix everything for you, Tone! Oh, Carla. But Tone, I couldn't fix this sink! Oh, Carla, I couldn't care less about this sink! You're still the woman of my dreams! Oh. Now, excuse us! Tommy, I'm gonna take my beautiful bride into the next room and we're gonna watch some MTV. Oh! Soft with me! Kids say totally rad, and moms say wicked awesome!